I'm glad to be here and I will be talking about grape juice, uh, its benefits and uh, the compounds. Uh, I've been studying about the benefits of grape juice for 10 years. I started uh, in my master and uh, uh, today I'm a professor at the university in Brazil and I'm studying about the grape juice benefits and the uh, compounds. Uh, the grape juice is a, a good pro product because all the family can consume, uh, don't have alcohol, and for this reason, for the children is a good option. I am a Brazilian researcher, and uh, I'd like to thank you very much for the invitation because it's very important to us uh, is uh, talking about the grape juice. Uh, all the studies about the grapes and the grape products uh, began with the French paradox. The French paradox uh, tried to explain why the, in France die less of heart disease than fi Finland, for example, uh, despite the high fat consumption. In France, the, the uh, cholesterol saturated fat uh, consumption is the same in Finland. But in France, uh, the people consume more wine than in Finland. And the main reason that the authors conclude that the wine is one of the uh, the uh, reasons that wine consumption is one of the reasons for these results. And after the French paradox, many, many, many students uh, try to discover why the mechanisms, the mechanisms, and uh, uh, prove these uh, results. And one is one of this study that uh, compared. Uh, the red wine, the free alcohol, red wine, and grape juice uh, can inhibit, inhibit the atherosclerosis in an uh, animal model. And the great question in this study is, what is the responsible of, uh, for the, this inhibition? Is the alcohol or is it other compounds? And the authors discovered that only they, the group received only alcohol decrease the atherosclerosis. But all, all the groups that receive the red wine without alcohol, red wine or grape juice reduce more the, the um, um, highest result you, uh, uh, they look at in the red wine group, but also in red wine free alcohol and the grape juice. And the authors conclude that it's not the alcohol, it's uh, the other compounds, is the responsible, and uh, many studies about polyphenols compounds are began in after this study and other studies. And this is the first study published by our group in Brazil, because uh, until this moment um, there uh, any other study was published before this. And uh, in this study we show that the uh, white and purple grape juice and uh, juice from organically or conventionally uh, are a great uh, polyphenol content and also an important antioxidant, uh, antioxidant activity. And when we compared purple ones with the white ones, grape juice, uh, we look that the purple ones are richer 
in polyphenol contents than the white ones. And uh, also that the, when compared the resveratrol amount, the organic ones uh, have more resveratrol than the conventional. This occur uh, because uh, in the organic uh, cultivar, uh, uh, they don't use pesticides. And this occur because in purple ones, uh, uh, the process use, uh, um, use the heat and the skin stay more time inside of the, the juice than the white ones. But uh, um, there, are, um, there is a, a good amount of resveratrol, but there are another's, uh, other uh, compounds like epicatechin and um, uh, catechins and uh, anthocyanidins. And uh, these are two American studies that uh, show the grape juice is an important polyphenol source. When compared uh, different juice consumed in USA, the Concord grape juice is one of highest in polyphenols contents. And also when compared purple grape juice with apple juice, for example, the grape, purple grape juice have more phenolic content than the apple juice. This is very important. And when compared purple grape juice with purple grape, it's better consume the juice or the fruit. And for the polyphenol contents, they, it's better consume the juice. Because during the process, the um, um, the process use heat and uh, the, uh, when heating the polyphenols transfer to the skin to the juice and this is very important and many others a lot of others uh, polyphenols can find found in purple grape juice and purple grape juice is a good source of polyphenols. And also uh, another study published by our group showed the uh, white and purple grape juice um, are a mineral uh, source and different mineral contents are found in uh, grape juice. And when we compare it uh, our juice with uh, other juice from uh, other um, um, variety. Uh, in Brazil, we use Vitz La Brusca to uh, do juice. In uh, Europe, for example, don't have or have a, 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 not a, a, a lot of uh, Vitz Vinifera. Vitz La Brusca have more copper and zinc content than the uh, Vitz vinifera, for example. Uh, this figure, I like very much this figure because in, uh, there are many uh, health benefits to polyphenols. And there are, uh, the polyphenols can improve uh, the health in whole body and after this discover, many um, uh, products, or products rich in polyphenols, can also uh, do the same or a little the same. And for grape juice today, uh, we know a lot of benefits, but our group uh, show mainly the antioxidant neuroprotective and DNA damage protection. But also in the literature, there are many studies show a cardioprotective action to the grape juice. This is one of the studies from our group. 
And this, in this study, we show the grape juice um, as uh, is an important uh, hepatoprotective agent in rats. And uh, in this group, we um, show the purple grape juice prevent the oxidative damage uh, provoked by uh, tetrachloride. chloride. And also, in the same uh, model, we show the purple grape juice prevent the oxidative stress in brain in a younger and in a no, uh, no other group with all older rats. And uh, in different regions of brain, the purple grape juice is, uh, can uh, prevent this oxidative damage. Uh, this is uh, in agreement with this neuroprotective effect. Um, this, this is another study from our group. In this study, we show the purple grape juice, organic and conventional, can prevent the damage seizures. The seizures uh, provoke damage, and we show in this uh, study that the grape juice can prevent these damage, not prevent the seizures, but the damage provoked by uh, uh, the seizures. And uh, in agreement uh, with our study, other group in USA uh, show that the grape juice um, uh, is very important to the brain. After 30 days, uh, the individuals that consume grape juice improve the function, the cerebral function, by the magnetic resonance. And uh, this is the group that receives grape juice, and the, this is the placebo. This is very important because uh, by the, reso the magnetic resonance. And in the same group show that the, um, uh, the, the individuals that consume grape juice uh, learn more or uh, remember more items using by the California Verbal Learning Test. And they proving that this occur, the one of explain, explanation is uh, because they have more function in brain. And also, uh, is a, is a, a Brazilian study with triathletes that intake grape juice during 20, uh, 20 days. And after 20 days, these triathletes uh, show a decrease in glucose and an increase in insulin content. This is very important because uh, this, when this occur, can occur also uh, an improvement in the performance of these athletes. And more, oh, uh, uh, very important, uh, after 20 days, the triathletes show an increase of plasma polyphenols and also uh, uh, show that the, the polyphenols are in all the body. Uh, Cardio protection is the first, I think, protection to attribute it to the grapes or the wine from the French paradox. But the grape juice also uh, show an important cardio, uh, cardio protection. And uh, for to the juice, today we know that can inhibit the plaquetary aggregation and antithrombotic and vasodilator capacity. And this is one of study from uh, American group show that the uh, rabbits that receive grape juice reduce uh, the total serum cholesterol and uh, also can reduce the blood pressure. 
the, uh, the group that receive water increase the blood pressure after the treatment the, of the, the, the period, uh, but the group that receive grape juice reduce very much, uh, um, uh, great reducing in this blood pressure. And the triathletes that receive grape juice after 20 days improve the cardio parameters and uh, uh, improve the functional capillary density and other arteries markers. And also, uh, all in our group, we show that the grape juice can reduce the DNA damage. Uh, we provoked a DNA damage by a agent and we show that the both conventional and organic can prevent this damage. And this is very important because the class of the, the damage is, uh, the, for example, the, the worst class and four class uh, don't appear in the group that drinking grape juice. Uh, and uh, in agreement with our study, uh, other group show that the grape juice can uh, inhibit the tumor genesis and to different tissues, mammary and liver. And uh, the last studies published by our group uh, show the, that the grape juice uh, is an important uh, source to uh, prevent the damage provoked by the high fat diet. We uh, use a diet uh, that 60% um, is fat and uh, we look at and we uh, discover that the, uh, the grape juice can prevent the weight increase. The, the first line is the high fat diet, the second is the control group, receive the control diet, and the, the last one's lions here is the high fat diet that drinking grape juice, organic and conventional. And we demonstrated that the grape juice can prevent this increase. Uh, this is in agreement what the last uh, speaker said about the cyanidins, yeah, because the grape juice is, is a, gray, is a uh, source of cyanidins. And more important than prevent the increase of the weight is prevent the damage in brain, for example. Uh, we look, uh, we show that the high fat diet in, uh, increase the oxidative proteins damage uh, in cerebral cortex and a hippocampus, and the, uh, both grape juice can reduce this damage in brain. This is very important also. And finally, the last study published by our group showed that the grape juice can prevent the steatosis, can prevent the fat accumulation inside of the liver. And this is the group that receive high fat diet, and the last is the high fat diet drinking grape juice. And we um, demonstrate that the, the uh, grape juice can uh, um, improve and or prevent this fat increase in, uh, in, this, in the obesity. This is very important. And uh, uh, other study that I can put here, but uh, the article is submitting, is that the purple grape juice prevent the um, uh, abdominal fat. 
and uh, the, the, rats, uh, the rats that receive grape juice uh, have less um, fat in abdominal than the, um, uh, the control group that receive water, for example. And uh, during our life, the damage is accumulating. And uh, today, many speakers uh, told about this today, about the lifestyle and the obesity, this is a problem. And grape juice is, uh, for us, is a good option to prevent many disease but not to treat these diseases, only to prevent. And in Brazil, uh, we are encouraging uh, the children to consume the grape juice because it's a, a, an important product from our country, mainly for the, the reason, the region that oh, I live in, in the south of Brazil, where, where many families uh, live it, uh, by the wineries and the, the grape juice and wine. And after our studies and our uh, job, uh, the grape juice consumption increased a lot in Brazil. Uh, it's more than 50% uh, 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 people now, it, uh, on, um, also in school, uh, the, the children receive uh, grape juice. This is very important. Uh, I'd like to thank for my sponsor in Brazil, is my university, and some uh, organizations that help me very much and uh, for the, the, the student. And this is my group my colleague and my students uh, and uh, thank you very much for all and it's a, it's a pleasure to me. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell us how did you prepare juice when you performed some experiment? Did you use freshly prepared juice or conventional, commercially available? Yeah, I, I forgot to, to talk. Uh, I use, uh, um, in Brazil, there is 100% a, a juice. It's a juice that uh, the people can uh, buy at the supermarket. I, I didn't do the juice. I bought it in, at the supermarket and is a 100% juice. It's not from concentrated, it's not soft drink, it's a 100% juice. It, the juice, uh, the winery makes and put the, 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 the grapes and uh, break the, the grape and heat and after uh, it's ready to the consum. I see. It's great that you were able to find strong bioactivity with commercial you know, juices, but juice, because uh, when I did some experiment, uh, fresh juice had strong antioxidant activity, but commercial one really showed low you know, activity. So I just wonder you had uh, similar issues when you yeah, uh, we uh, compared different juice in another uh, study, and uh, we uh, discovered that, uh, for example, this is a 100% juice. It's not a from. Uh, it's not from concentrated, but the juice from concentrated uh, have the um, uh, health polyphenols among, for example, and but I I didn't do any study about after uh, days, for example. I think yes, I think you are sure uh, for grape juice too, because, but in Brazil, uh, after these dis discoveries, the juice stay at the market one year after uh, the juice uh, finish and there is another uh, year, is an, uh, other juice. Thank you, Thank you very much.
Thank you for a very nice presentation. I was wondering what, how much juice you gave um, to the animals in those studies. And my second question is, I know like in the United States with obesity prevention, especially in children, to limit the amount of liquid calories in juice consumption. So I was wondering how grape juice fits into that in terms of recommendations. Yeah. Uh, we use uh, to the, the animals the same of the, uh, to the human. And, and uh, uh, for the human, and uh, 300 to 500 uh, milliliters. Yeah. And for the, the animals, you use uh, seven mic microliters uh, to uh, uh, grams. Uh, this. And for the, uh, the children, uh, we, for the food intake and uh, the caloric, and uh, we discover during all, all, all the studies that don't, don't provoke uh, increase of the weight, for example. Uh, it's not, uh, uh, all studies that with uh, human show that the grape juice don't increase the weight, for example. And the, for the, the, the children, uh, it's, it's very important because there, there are two studies that show that uh, if the, the people consume soft drinks, for example, the weight increase, and they probably to diabetes in the future increase too, but not 100% juice, only nectar or soft, soft drink with uh, sugar. The, these juice don't have sugar. This is very important. Uh, Gilbert, um, that was a very interesting question because most of my problems for getting a grant from the European Union with clinical trials was because of the sugar of the uh, juice. Of course, if you use something sweet soup to people, then they probably, some of them drink more, and the problem is the sugar. By any chance, uh, when, you, when you, you have performed your study, have you ever found any variety of, of, of BTs that has lower level of sugar or something like that? Or maybe the organic versus the conventional grape juice has different quantity of sugar? No, the, the sugar is the same. It's not, it's not a, a, a additional sugar. It's the fructose, because don't have a, a sugar, in, uh, put in sugar uh, inside of the juice. It's only the fructose that is not uh, uh, inside. And uh, is the, uh, the organic and conventional is the same for ours, of course. And uh, oh, the, the main difference uh, between organic and conventional is the polyphenols amount. And, uh, and uh, I study about this juice. Uh, and I don't know about the, uh, dr uh, the soft drinks or with sugar, for example. Any more questions? No? Okay, I have one last question. Um, I'm really curious because um, this is a very interesting topic. There, is, there are very, um, very good results about uh, uh, <coughs> family compounds and so on, but there is some study that says that some of there are some side effects. Side effects uh, is only if if you are uh, if you, you are a uh, diabetes, for example, is uh, if you can you know, uh, consume f uh, f uh, carbohydrates and sugar, and is a uh, side effects. And if you uh, no non consume, for example. Can uh, the intestinal tract uh, provoke diarrhea, for example, if, we, if you don't consume? Uh, if you consume, it's no, I, 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 I don't know about the other side. Uh, okay. yeah. Great. Thank you. Um, my last question yes. How many glasses do you suggest to drink? Yeah. For, uh... Uh, one or two? Is, uh, for for our children, for example, yeah. one glass is wonderful, and for an adult, two glass. And if you uh, in the morning, uh, or it's the same. Uh, uh, the the uh, the nutritionals uh, uh, told about um, in the morning is very good, and uh, or in breaks, 
not in the male uh, uh, um, uh, reflection on this, and not lunch or dinner, because uh, if you um, drink alone or without a lot of food, the, uh, the, uh, um, the absorption is better than if a uh, 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 dinner or lunch. Thank you.